everyone. I wanted to connect in with you um, because I have been waking up every day feeling so good and so alive and so in light and love. And I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been doing that I feel like have really, really, really drastically added to um, the quality of life that I'm experiencing. Um, one of them is just breathing. Just by being on the planet right now, you are um, able to experience consciousness in a way that we never, ever, ever have had access to before. Um, this is because literally the light, there is more light being infused onto the planet right now, coming in. And so what that's doing is, as light's coming in, all of the darkness, shit, pain, crap is um, being released. So it's really, really important to learn how to focus on the light, focus on the light, focus on the light, focus on the light. And as we focus on the light, the pain is going to be naturally releasing. Um, things are just speeding up faster and faster and faster and faster. Transformation, consciousness, life. There's more coming in. There's more happening. There's more abundance. There's more bliss. There's more of everything happening right now. And so it's really, 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 really important to have a regular um, meditative practice where you can ground into your core and really kind of find your center as everything is speeding up around you you can actually be literally slowing down um, i've run my energy i run my energy every day that is one thing it's um, a staple in my life running your energy meditating having some sort of regular practice um, in which you can ground and by grounding another way you can do it is literally by touching the earth flesh to flesh, skin to the earth, walking uh, in grass, walking in dirt, walking in the mountains, walking um, on water. <laughs> um, but really getting your body touching the earth again, um, not cement, but so that your uh, magnetic field can readjust and realign with the earth's magnetic field. Um, so meditative practice, number one. Number two, the second thing that I feel like is really, really adding to me just having a, a, such an amazing life is I've been eating superfoods! Superfoods. Um, these are foods on the planet that are have super high mineral content. They're perfect uh, proteins. They have all the amino acids. They are just really, really vitalizing, nutrient-rich um, foods. Um, and the one that I've been taking quite a bit of is blue-green algae. Blue-green algae is super high in minerals. Um, it's super high in protein. It's just an amazing food for you. Um, because one of the things that we have to realize is our diets and the soil um, don't, don't have the mineral content that they used to. Um, we are we're very mineral depleted and so by just adding in the right things you don't have to necessarily feel like you have to completely eradicate everything out of your diet um, to get healthy by just starting to intake the right um, things it will really drastically help the other thing that I've been taking on a regular basis is high doses of EF EFAs essential fatty acids um, because of what I've realized is it seems like most people are driving around with no oil in their car. <laughs> um, most of us don't have enough essential fatty acids in our systems and so we're just kind of burning up a lot. Um, the essential fatty acid I've been taking is called Omega Zen. It's actually a vegan uh, friendly form of um, this of DHA and uh, Omega 3. And I get this from a website called uh, Nutru.com, N-U-T-R-U.com. So blue-green algae, um, oh, omega, uh, essential fatty acids, and superfoods. There's a great book out by a man named David Wolf. It's called Superfoods. And he goes through the top 10 superfoods on the planet right now. And they're super easy. I make a superfood smoothie every morning, and I really feel like it's just giving me so much more life force, so much more. Um, the third thing 
that we all need to be doing in our lives much more is having a regular practice of learning how to play, learning how to have fun. So this is part of focusing on the light, focus on the light, focus on the light, not on the pain, not on the pain. You have to have an intention to be waking up right now. That's really important because this is a great time to be waking up on the planet. We're all waking up. We're all, our eyes are all getting opened, um, whether we like it or not. So um, learning how to have conscious play, high levels of adventure, fun, bliss is really important. And it doesn't matter if it's a, um, a big adventure every year, but really learning how to have day-to-day -day fun um, with your family and really your friends, your community, and really being able to experience that feeling of higher state of joy and higher states of laughter and bliss in your life. Um, so figuring out what really makes you happy. What do you really have fun doing? And go do it a lot more. Um, and then the fourth thing that I'm finding across the board, it doesn't matter, I, I'm a healer, I do psychic work, I do readings, I do healings, I do retreats and workshops. So I talk to people that are really having an amazing time right now and are super abundant and super just really living a great life. And then I'm also talking and connecting with people that are really struggling. And the one thing that I've noticed across the board with everyone is the need for greater connectivity, human to human connectivity. Um, for some reason, we have really gotten to be a very individualized, uh, narcissistic community. And so one of the things that I've been finding um, to create projects to just really be able to manifest the life that, that you want to manifest, you need to be connecting in with other people. If you're trying to do anything by yourself right now on the planet, you're pro you you're, will probably struggle. You will probably be hitting more effort than you need to be, than you need to be hitting. Um, so by connecting in with other people, sharing your ideas, sharing your creative thoughts, sharing your process, just sharing in general, um, what will happen is you won't just be using your 100% life force. By sharing with another person, you will literally have access to more life force. And because what I'm finding is um, the things that are wanting to be created on the planet in your ind individual life, in your community, globally, it doesn't matter on any, what level, but whatever the things that are wanting to manifest right now on the planet we literally do not have enough life force individually to ha make them happen. We have to be connecting with each other again. And that is one of the things that we've really lost in um, society are the containers where we would normally just naturally go and be exchanging energy and ideas and thoughts with each other. So we need to be really building connectivity and community. It will really help with a lot more, um, with a greater sense of Effortless, effortless manifestation, um, a lot more ease um, in manifesting your life. Um, because this, we have so much grace surrounding this planet right now. Um, everything we could ever fathom for ourselves, for our lives, for our children, for our community is possible right now. And so it really is just up to us to um, make it happen and create the life that will um, allow it to manifest for us and simplify make your life simple get rid of all of the excess bullshit all the excess bills all of the excess in general simplify your life get back to the things that are really important to you um, the things that really make you happy and stay there Everything else is going to fall away anyway. So find your core, um, practice creating bliss, practice um, mineralizing, and you will see that you. this is a time to have the most amazing life you could ever imagine. So I wish for you that you experience more love and feel more love in your body than you ever have before.